last test Sri Lanka Hotel and Jersey still more than 207, was dated at 9.28 p.m., April 21, 2019, with higher death toll Colombo. Sri Lanka a series of eight devastating bomb blasts ripped through high-end hotels and churches holding Easter services in Sri Lanka on Sunday, killing at least 207 people, including dozens of foreigners. Prime Minister Renault Lecrim was in the attack the worst act of violence since the end of Sri Lanka's civil war a decade ago as cowardly, as the government imposed them. Immediate and indefinite pursuit across the entire country of 21 million people. The powerful blast system quit the session and then two more hours later left hundreds injured and brought devastation, including at the capital's well-known St. Anthony's Shrine, a historic Catholic church. At least two of the explosions were carried out by suicide bombers, according to police sources and a hotel official, and police. Spokesman Ruin Dunasi Terra said the authorities were investigating whether suicide attackers were involved in all eight of them. Unity Terra told a press conference the death toll has risen to at least 207, with over 450 people wounded and that three people have been arrested. Ravanath Ariasana, secretary to the foreign ministry, told reporters there were 27 bodies of suspected foreign nationals in the Colombo National Hospital. A police official said earlier that 35 foreigners were among the dead and hospital sources said British. Dutch and American citizens have been killed, with Britons and Japanese also injured. A Portuguese man also died, the country's Lusa News Agency reported. Horrible scenes an 8FT photographer at the scene of St. Anthony's saw bodies lying on the floor, some draped with scarves and clothes. Much of the church roof was blown up in the explosion, with roof tiles, glass and splinters wood littering the floor along with pools of blood. At the Shangri-La Hotel, a made FP photographer saw extensive damage on the second floor restaurant, with windows blown out and electrical wires hanging from the ceiling. The injured flooded into local hospitals, where officials reported hundreds of wounded were being admitted. Sri Lanka, Minister of Economic Reforms and Public Distribution, Harshad Silva, said he has been to two of the attack hotels and was at the scene of St. Anthony where he described horrible scenes. I saw many body parts strewn all over, he tweeted, adding that there were many casualties including foreigners. Please stay calm and indoors, he added. Police chief warning there were no immediate claims of responsibility for the blast, but documents seen by AFP show that Sri Lanka's police chief Kusha J. Asinger issued an intelligence alert to top officers 10 days ago, warning that suicide bombers planned to hit prominent churches. A foreign intelligence agency has reported that the NTJ left Square Graphic National Police Jamaat right Square Graphic is planning to carry out suicide attacks targeting prominent churches as well as the Indian High Commission in Colombo, the alert said. The NTJ is a radical Muslim group in Sri Lanka that was linked last year to the vandalization of Buddhist statues. The first blast was reported at St. Anthony, followed by a second deadly explosion at St. Sebastian, a church in the town of Nadumbo, north of the capital. Soon after, police confirmed that a third church in the east coast town of Batisalona has been hit, along with three high-end hotels in the capital the Cinnamon Grand, the Shangri-La and the King's Three. A manager of the Cinnamon Grand, near the Prime Minister's official residence in Colombo, said a suicide bomber blew himself up at people at the hotel's restaurant. He came up to the top of the queue and set off the blast, he told AFP. Later in the afternoon, two died in a strike at a hotel in the south of Colombo, while a police source said a suicide bomber killed three officers in the suburb of Orizawada in the north of the capital. Cowardly attack President Nicholas Sirosina said in an address that he was shocked by the explosions and appealed for con. On Twitter, with Green Missing Road, I strongly condemn the cowardly attacks on our people today. I call upon all Sri Lankans during this tragic time to remain united and strong. Please avoid propagating unverified reports and speculation. The government is taking immediate steps to contain this situation. United States President Donald tweeted his condolences on the horrible terrorist attacks 
and Pope Francis in his Easter address at the Vatican spoke of his affectionate closeness with the Christian community, a task while it was at prayer. Embassies in Colombo warned their citizens to shelter in place, and Sri Lankan Airlines told customers to arrive at the airport four hours ahead of flight because of ramped up security in the wake of the attack. Only around 6% of mainly Buddhist Sri Lanka is Catholic, but the religion is seen as a unifying force because it includes people from both the Tamil and the majority Sinhalese ethnic groups. There has been no attack in Sri Lanka linked to foreign Islamist groups, despite local media reports that a 37 Tyson year old Sri Lankan was killed in Syria in 2015 while fighting for the Islamic State group. In January, Sri Lankan police seized the hall of explosives and detonators stash near a wildlife sanctuary following the arrest of four men from the newly formed radical Muslim group. Slash Jess Slash ATM. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.